Oxford University is one of the uh, oldest uh, English-speaking universities in the world um, and it comprises uh, 38, I think, colleges and over 70 academic de departments with around 21,000 students. Uh, IT in Oxford is delivered in a very devolved way um, where individual colleges and departments can and do do their own thing uh, when it comes to IT. Within uh, the central IT services we already use uh, vSphere and have done for a number of years and recently we've moved to uh, using uh, VMware vCloud Director and uh, through the Activate program with VMware we've uh, moved to uh, offering some services as a hybrid cloud model um, to enable us to expand and use the capacity of other clouds. We provide three services. Um, we provide a database as a service facility, uh, typically for small uh, to medium research projects to enable them to quickly spin up a database with uh, limited knowledge of uh, transactional database systems. Uh, and that came from the uh, VMware Activate program and a project developed within the Central Computing Service. Uh, we also offer a uh, virtual machine for rent service, as we call VM for rent, um, and that's simply uh, for people who need a single individual Windows or Linux system. Uh, and we also offer a virtual data center um, facility where people who have uh, the requirement for a larger number of virtual machines can rent a data center and manage it and provision virtual machines through self-service uh, entirely under their own control. For us it was important when offering these services to uh, look at what our customers wanted and one of the things that uh, is mentioned time and time again was what was the resilience of the services we were offering and what kind of SLAs could we provide. Uh, even though these are effectively internal customers that's, that's seen as very important. Some concerns were ha we had were around power and network outages. Now some of these were a perception on the part of the customer rather than a real problem uh, but nevertheless it's, it was important for us to address them. Um, we have a new data centre, we're very fortunate um, to have a, a new data centre uh, which we use as our primary facility for our cloud. Uh, uh, however we have another uh, data centre which we're using as our DR site which is less well equipped um, so it was important to offer a good DR facility to cater for those kind of issues. After looking at what was available in the marketplace, we selected VMware SRM to provide the disaster recovery facility for our cloud services. Uh, it was important for us as we don't provide 24 by 7 staff cover, um, but are required to provide 24 by 7 service cover where possible uh, to automate as much as possible the work that needed to be done in the case of a disaster. SRM enabled us to do this uh, particularly for the management cluster of our cloud facility and the uh, resource clusters uh, were covered by custom scripting developed uh, by VMware Professional Services and uh, our in-house team. Having got the disaster recovery piece in place uh, and this has enabled us to uh, offer a better service level to our customers uh, we're now moving on to look at other facilities that our customers require. A key one for us is to provide a self-service backup facility for our customers. Having got a nice self-service portal where people can provision resources, um, we don't want them coming to us every time they want to restore uh, a file or a virtual machine. So that's uh, an important one for us as a service provider to our customers. Uh, other things that we're looking at are uh, improving the monitoring of our cloud environment, uh, looking for a more holistic approach to monitoring and also um, looking to upgrade to the newer versions of uh, vSphere and vCloud Director. The biggest benefit of this project for us was that it cut our uh, recovery time if we had a primary data centre failure from several days of hard work rebuilding the system to uh, hours if not quicker. Um, having a fully automated solution for that has, is a real benefit.